<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Vimatic Vlog. This week I got my boy, my big brother over here, Richie. Yeah, let's do it. Man, this episode's about to be so real. Pumping. So, um, first and foremost, I want to introduce to you guys a new episode or a new format for this vlog. Today is the first ever episode of Shuffle Sundays. I'm just gonna hit shuffle, and whatever song comes on is the song that comes on. Start off with a classic. Oh shit. So dirty. That dude. He was just a sick ass dude. I mean, yo. Did you see that video he put up when he went to. What was it? The welfare school? Oh, yeah, the welfare. Yeah. Yeah. Who does that, bro? You just been on like four videos and then you go on up there. Yeah, I mean, he might have been a millionaire, but you're making enough money, you ain't got to go to welfare. He just did. You know what I'm saying? It was just the style that he did. It was like nobody was doing it. I think that's pretty much why everybody really felt it. And he was just, you know, animated. He was all up in there. Bro. All over the place. You know, screaming. So everybody was like, you know, it's almost, almost like Flavor Flavor, man. Getting yeah, all yeah. Jumped up. He kind of reminds me of Buster Rhymes, too. You know, Buster Rhymes is crazy. Yeah, he, like, yeah, jumps yeah. all over the place. Oh, shit. Some bay cheddar. Bacheta. You know what I'm saying? The bachata. I used to remember, man, trying to even learn bachata. Bro. For real? Yeah, man, stepping all over the Sylvia Tones and shit. <laughs> so I love step up and the exaggerated jump. Knee the, jump? The, the, yeah, man. <laughs> I used to do the, the knee jump. For real? You did the knee nah, jump? Nah, not that crazy, though. Just, oh, a, little, man, just a little, you know. So he's like, why are you doing that shit? Like, yeah, that's what the motherfuckers <laughs> are doing. I'm watching them doing that shit, boy. That's why I'm doing it. And just the people that you see dancing and they lift the leg up and they like to doing the Heisman. Yo, like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, I didn't get that high, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? I had a little bit, maybe a couple times. I remember when I was in high school, right? I had to go to summer school. My Uncle Kike, this dude, man, that you already know. My Uncle Kike is the biggest bachata fan I know. I always knew he was coming because of the music. Like, this dude's music, if his radio went up to 50, oh, he had it man. at 65, you know? I'm like, damn, yo, Theo Kike's on his way, man. It's embarrassing. There's like 50 oh, people out man. here. I could imagine that. I'd be right so there. embarrassed, man. So I used to go back into school and wait till everybody went back in for the next class so that I could come out, man. That shit was embarrassing. He took all back to me. Yeah, I know. And then animated, arms all out, yelling. Hold on. I don't listen to the radio much as I used to. Just one because of the static and I think in the commercials and you know it really annoys me, but I don't want to hear the same song 500 times in a row and that yeah. song being the same one that's not really saying anything, right. you know? They burn it, man. They burn exactly. It. So it's going, what, what's, what's happening now is that you've lost the lyricists because like back in the days when I was listening to you had, you know, Karish once. Oh, shit. Yo, the, the, That right there, when it dropped, people would just go insane. I had the 80s party. I wasn't we there. All in the backyard dressed up. I wasn't there for that one. And ES dropped this shit, and we ourselves went insane in the backyard. The just singing the people. The bridge is over. You see me coming in, he dance with the slippers and see ya. Down with the sound for BDP. If you wanna join the crew, well, you must see me. You can't sound like Shan or the one Marley. Cause Shan and Molly Marley, I'm around like the Get it? Look what happens when you hit shuffle, dude. This right here, bro. Oh, this right here was like this used to come on. I used to lose my mind. Bro. For real? That stupid little little radio walking down the street, <laughs> man. Oh man, just crazy. This is KRS One. Oh shit. Just to all my Red Sox fans out there, you know what this is. There's some random shuffle right here, bro. For real, right? Touching you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, dude. Easy, kill. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the drunk, oh, oh. this is the drunk white people song right here. Yeah, it is. If you play this in a club or somewhere overseas, like in Mexico, they white people lose their mind, bro. For real? When I went to Cancun, they played this. They were jumping and bouncing off each other like crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm about to hit a uh, shuffle on this one. You a Jay-Z fan? Yeah, I like Jay-Z. He held it down for a long time, man. He's just living proof. 
one of his albums because he's got a lot of freaking bangers, a lot of anthems. Yeah, he definitely has a lot of anthems. Yo, and he just, he did it, man. He's straight from the freaking project and he's one out, bro. He's everywhere. Like, he's yeah. even like an aficionado with cigars. I didn't Is know it really? Yeah, I didn't know it. What, how'd you start, you know, like first start smoking cigars? Like, when, you know, how would you start? Damn, I, I gotta say, can't do it. Oh, yeah? 18 years ago, yeah. It's just. Just being in the yeah, was something there. I was wearing, you know, we're in Mexico, so whatever. You know, me and my boys went to this little shop. They had something there, so I, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I just grabbed it. And I was just really pumped, so just letting the smoke out, taking, you know, everybody taking pictures. Oh shit, we're, we're cool. Yeah. Then uh, the second time I smoked was on a cruise that we went on, and uh, we were out in the balcony. I remember it's the first cruise we went on. I had to have my drink in my hand, so that pretty much was the beginning. Just like. Mentally, like, oh, this is what this is what it means when these dudes are drinking and smoking a cigar. Yeah. But it wasn't because I had no idea what cigar to pick or anything like that. I remember linking up with Raul one time. And he was like, "Oh, you smoke cigars?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Try this Cuba Cuba." And it was a sweeter cigar, it had almost like an infused flavor on it. Right. And you know, that was pretty much the first, you know, gateway into the cigar world. Me and uh, Raul used to do that. Oh shoot! There we go. I used to hate it because when we had moved to Connecticut, we used to go visit my uh, family back in New York. Yeah. So, I mean, if anybody knows anything about New York, you know, it's all, you live in a building, it's hallway parties, I man. The kids are running up and down the hallway. It's like you live everywhere and everybody has their own room. Yeah. So my, my family would just be blasting south south all day long. And that's all we heard running up and down. So I, I couldn't even stand it. When I get home, my mom put it on. She'd be like, oh my God, you want to bang your head on the wall. And I remember just starting to sit back and listen to it. Uh, and as far-fetched as it may, may seem, I would forget. I would know the song, but I would forget a lot of like the salsa people that sing it. Like any of the artists, I couldn't remember yeah. any of their names. So I would hear a song I like, and then i not hear it for six, seven months because I didn't remember. Yeah. Then I met the encyclopedia of Southside, which is your freaking dad. And I would just be like, yo, what song is this? And I'm sitting there humming shit to him. He's like, go ahead, keep going, keep going. And then that's how I pretty much learned Learn some it. of the people that did, did it. Yeah. And then he would sing this shit to me all the time. And, <laughs> and I'd be like, yo, just shut up and listen. I'm like, yo, I don't want to hear you sing it to me. And everybody listen to the message. Tell them, you know, I don't got to even tell you. And that's how my salsa got a little better because then I'm like, okay. Because I used to just listen to it, you want to just dance to it. Yeah, yeah. But then if you stop and hear it, you it always has a message, Yeah. you know, and stuff like that. And, and that's how your dad was anyway. So that's he would just tell me that shit, and I'm like, oh, here we go. What are you going to sing to me today? <laughs> no, shut up, man. Listen to what I'm saying. All right. And he would just sing it. If you wanted me to tell you who it is, I'm going to sing it. So I would really have to want to know the song to ask and him. And Because I know if I ask him, he's going to start singing. singing that shit. And then at the end of singing it, he tell me who it is. <laughs> Yo, we're practicing right now. I am, because the Kenepa's in Bridgeport. The Kenepa's in Bridgeport. Yeah, that's in Bridgeport the, in the house, that's baby. the salsa group that I you know started with. Yo, for our first show, man, we should have a big giant Kenepa on stage. And then when fireworks blow off, we just break out the Kenepa and shit. <laughs> and we'd be dressed like the inside color of the Kenepa. Oh, the Kenepa? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like <laughs> and then you just start singing, you have Kenny with the. <laughs> Yo, that would kill it right there, bro. No. <laughs> Yo, first oh, of all, man. if you find a Kenepa that big to fit us, yeah. <laughs> we gotta build that shit, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, that would be crazy, bro. Everybody, check us out. The, the Kenepa's the bridge, bro. Oh, man, we coming, man. We coming hard, bro. All you other South Side actually better watch it, I'm telling you. For real. <laughs> Killing them. <laughs> Excuse me.
one of my favorite rappers, bro. Big Daddy Kane, you feel me? Oh my god. Well, you, uh, I used to think I was fucking Big Daddy Kane. Yeah? Well, yeah my hair was curly like yours. I used to just fade it on the side. It looked like a high top fade. And I remember one time I wanted to go to this dance, right? Yeah. My next door neighbor was this cool ass black Jamaican dude, right? Like real dark skin black. Yeah. And he was like, and he didn't have a real accent, but he was like, yo, he had this nasty linen suit. It was a darker, like brown. Right. Almost like a, a crush linen. And I was like, yo. So he let me use it, so I was gonna wear it to go to the dance. But I was daddy came out, bro. I was like, no shirt. <laughs> My mother was like, you ain't going out of this motherfucker. I was like, damn, I'm like, damn, mom. So I had to put a stupid ass t shirt on, looking dumb. <laughs> That's oh, what I play all the time. Bro, when this came on, I used to lose my mind, man. For real? It drops some smooth lyrics. It's 88. Time to set it straight. I was 14 on this one. Word? Shuffle Sunday. Yeah, man. Well, I thank you guys for tuning in. Thank my big brother over here, Richie, for tuning in and for wow. joining me. I'd appreciate if you guys subscribe. Tell me what you think about this format of the show, of, the, of this episode of this show. You know, maybe I'll keep it going. I can add a twist to it. So comment down below. Check out my last video, my other videos that I have coming. Stay tuned for new ones. I'm coming every Sunday. So be ready, all right, guys. Be safe. Take care. And I hope you enjoyed it.